Now, the story of a PM, a programmer, a sysadmin, and a lazy programmer who found a way to build a product without interruptions. It's unarrested development. Early one Monday morning, Heather, the PM, called Jesse, a really talented programmer on her team. So, Jesse. Hey. Hey. With the new release starting up, I was thinking I'd make Doug the lead programmer. What do you think? Doug? Well, I'm not sure how much actual work he does. That was my thinking exactly. He's got so much potential. I'd like to give him the opportunity. Opportunity? Yeah, I think it'd be a real growth opportunity for him. Do you have a problem with that? Do I get a vote? No, not really. Great, no problem at all. Jesse totally had a problem with that. Can I be reassigned? <laughs> you crack me up. I'm going to call Doug right now and give him the good news. Great. Maybe I should just go run a banana stand or something. Hey, Doug, you busy? Uh, yeah. I'm actually in the middle of a really important Slack message. <laughs> First responder, dog. What's up? Well, as you know, the new release is starting up. And I'm thinking maybe to make you the lead programmer. Oh, wow. That sounds like a lot of work. Exactly. That's why I think you'd be perfect for it. It'd give you the chance to really shine. Oh, I, I don't know. My, my workload's really heavy as it is. Do I get a vote? Not really. No. Can I be reassigned? <laughs> you crack me up. Be ready to stand up tomorrow morning. I'll see you then. Here at CloudBees, we're proud to announce the GA of two new plugins for CloudBees CI. The CloudBees Slack plugin and the GitHub reporting plugin. You can go directly from Slack to GitHub. When you get to GitHub, you'll see detailed information generated by CloudBees CI. If you need to go to the build log, it's one click away. And for code errors or style problems, you know exactly where things went wrong, so you can go to your dev environment, fix the problem, push the changes, and restart the build. To install them, refresh the data from the Update Center, and they should be in the list of available plugins. You get even more useful data if you install the Warnings in G plugin, if you're using Java, the Jococo plugin for Java code coverage is great. And if you use tools like CheckStyle and SpotBugs, you'll get detailed messages from those tools as well. Best of all, you don't have to make any changes to your pipelines. The bottom line is that these plugins let you work with the tools you're already using so you can find and fix problems with as few interruptions as possible. The next afternoon, Jesse called Doug, the lead programmer he totally had a problem with. Hey, Doug, say, I really need you to review this pull request we have. I mean, um, you're the lead programmer, right? So we just need to kind of get a, you know, a review on it so we can sign off on it, all that kind of stuff so we can merge. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually in the middle of a really important Slack message right now. <laughs> go, kitty, go. I need to stay here in Slack until I get this, you know, wrapped up. I mean, I'm in a flow, you know? I don't want to context switch and wreck everything. Okay, that's great. We just need to get this pull request reviewed, you know? Yeah, sure. D don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take care of it as soon as I can. Later that day, Jesse got a call from Jose of Shared Services. Hi, hey, Jesse. How's it going? So we're blocked by this uh, lazy lead programmer. He can't seem to leave Slack to look at pull requests. I know, I know. That's kind of the what I uh, was calling you about. Uh, let's build something and see what happens. Am I going to like this? You're going to love it. Well, we just got a Slack message with all this build information. Like I got a couple of warnings from CheckStyle. Let's see. Warning from Pipeline Policies plugin. Well, it looks like th there's all these links to something. 
Absolutely. You can go directly from, from that message to the PR in GitHub, and you can go to the build results as well. Click click it, and you get there. That's awesome. This this works every time I push my code? That's right. Can you set this up so that Doug gets these messages too? Sure, sure. Fine. Yeah. That's great. Thanks, Jose. You're the best. You're the best. A couple days later, Doug called Heather. Hey, Doug. What's up? Listen, we got to talk. I'm really being overworked here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I was just in the middle of a really important Slack message. He always gets himself trapped like this. In the, in <laughs> He's the stuck in the stuck bag. In the middle. <laughs> how, how do you... And I get another Slack message about some PR I have to approve. I mean, look, I know how much I mean to this team, but I can't be any good to anybody if I'm burning myself out like this. I think you ought to make Jesse the lead programmer. I think you're right. I think you're about to be reassigned. <laughs> you crack me up. I'll see you at the stand up tomorrow. I'm serious. With these new plugins, you get to work the way you want to work. Embrace the tools you have now, don't replace them. If you're a CloudBees CI customer, you can install the plugins today from the Update Center. And all of the documentation you need to set things up with Slack and GitHub is on our website. Check out these new features today and see how much more efficient you can be with unarrested development.